Good day everyone. Today we'll, I will be discussing the elements of visual arts. Okay? So first we're going to define what is an element. Okay? So it is the building blocks or ingredients of an art. So usually ito yung mga ginagamit ng ating mga artists in order for them to produce or to make an artwork. Okay? So uh, from the elements of visual arts, we have different um, elements, okay, of uh, visual arts, okay. So, number one, we have line, okay. So, that is the first element of visual arts. So, when we say line, it refers to a point moving at an identifiable path. It has length and direction and it, and it, it also has width, okay. And then aside from that, it is one-dimensional, However, it has the capacity to either or either define the perimeters of the artwork or we have the, the edges, okay? And then, um, it became or become a substantial component of the composition. So, when we say one-dimensional class, um, it has a uh, direction, okay? Meron siyang direction. So, uh, aside from that, um, ang line class, it is the um, simplest elements of visual arts okay and then also a line it has um um variations so meron siyang it varies actually ang line okay in view of its orientation or in dire direction shape and thickness okay kaya it varies from its orientation okay from its direction shape and thick thickness okay so kung uh, nakikita nyo dito sa powerpoint presentation natin we have si kit haring okay Second hiring class, um, he first executed the uh, public murals, okay? Ang public murals class is uh, actually an example niyan is the gravity art or the street art, okay? So, alam ko na very common itong um, uh, type of art as an expression itong gravity art sa inyo. Nakikita nyo yan sa um, some of the uh, public... Um, Landmarks. Like for example, yung sa Recom, kung nakapunta na kayo sa Recom, nakikita niyo yung mga painting dun na meron sa wall nila. That is an example of a public mural or yung sabi nila gravity art or even the street art. Okay? So, si Kit Haring class, kung makikita niyo dito, this is the work of uh, Kit Haring. Okay? Na ang ginamit niyang elements of visual arts class is majority. Okay? Line ang ginamit niya. From the letters na ginawa niya class is line ang ginamit niyang elements of visual arts okay so the the, the meaning of this um uh, public mural class is together we can stop aids okay the um, the uh the the meaning of this artwork class is uh because of kit harding si kit harding kasi class is namatay siya because of aids okay so uh yung kalagayan niya or his condition it became okay his um um, expression, okay, in order for to, uh, for the everybody or everyone to wake up, okay, have an awareness when it comes to AIDS, okay, so yan ang ginawa niya, okay, so that is the work of Kit Haring, he, he's the, uh, he first, okay, executed the, um, the idea of public mural class, okay, so aside from that, aside from the line, okay, so sinabi ko sa inyo kanina na we have different types of line, okay, first, we have the horizontal line. So, when we say horizontal line, it no normally associated with rest or calm. Okay? Landscapes often contain these elements as work line. This often connote, okay, a visual sense of being parallel to the ground. Okay? It also alludes to a position of the reclined body of rest. Example nito is usually mga, ayan, uh, this is the application of horizontal line in arts. Okay? Diba? Napakaganda. Ayan, usually. And then, uh, we have also, um, um, yan, yung mga example niya. Okay? Kung nakikita nyo dyan. Ayan. Mga mostly mga landscapes. Ayan. Mga sceneries, different sceneries. So, aside from the horizontal line, we have also vertical line. Okay? It connotes elevation or height which is usually taken to mean exaltation or aspiration for action. It also communicates stability and firmness. So, these are the application of vertical lines in art. Okay, mostly, um, sabi nga nito, it communicates stability and firmness. Okay, so mostly from the different architectures na nakikita nyo, is mostly 
uh, pataas siya. More on uh, the foundation line niya class is more on vertical line because it communicates stability and firmness. So, nakikita nyo dito yung mga application of vertical lines in art. May yan, mga different church. We have also the um, um, uh, the famous uh, landmark in Greece. We have the Parthenon. Okay? So, kung gusto nyo uh, makita ang Parthenon, punta lang kayo sa CSU. Meron dun. May Parthenon dun. Okay? So, aside from that, um, it also, uh, vertical lines, it denotes, denotes also action. And then, it suggests also poise, balance, force, aspiration, exaltation, and dynamism. Okay? And also, it uh, tend to express as well as arose emotions of exaltation. And in, uh, we have also this one. Uh, um, the application of vertical lines, uh, as you can see in the Gothic cathedrals, yung mga yung pinakita ko sa inyo kanina. And then, um, mostly kasi is, um, makikita nyo naman mostly ang, ang vertical lines ng application ngayon is when it comes to architecture because it communicates stability and firmness. Aside from that, we have also diagonal lines, okay? So it suggests action, life, and movement okay almost every object in action assumes a diagonal line because it suggests movement okay as masters in any art try to perfect their technique they are able to work more or less instinctively instinctively and they begin to express themselves more and more through the freedom buoyancy and grace of curved lines so we have this one ayan yung uh, babae na nagjogging okay yung nakikreate niyang um Direction from the line class is diagonal lines, okay? So, aside from that, um, we have also crook or jug lines, okay? It expresses um, energy, violence, conflict, and struggle, okay? That is the meaning of uh, crook or jug lines in the elements of visual arts. Aside from that, we have also curved lines, okay? So, this uh, curved lines is uh, very similar to diagonal lines in class, okay? So, they are the same with the, um, 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 the connotation of uh, diagonal lines. It also su suggests grace, subtleness, direction, instability, movement, flexibility, joyousness, and grace, okay? So, the very uh, famous na artist na gumagawa nito class, yung application ng curve lines is, we have si uh, Carlos Botong Francisco. Okay? Uh, he is the famous artist when it comes to the application of curve lines. Okay? Ito yung papakita ko sa inyo yung uh, ginawa niya, yung alamat ng um, uh, si Malakas at si Maganda. Okay? And then aside from that, um, we have three classifications of crook or jug lines class. Okay, first, um, line which follow or repeat one another. So, repetition line siya class. Okay, mamaya ipapakita ko sa niya, mamaya yung application niya. And then aside from that, we have lines which contrast with one another. Contrasting line. And we have also transitional lines which modify or soften the effect of others. So, this is the application of the repetition class. Ayan. You know, commonly, ginagamit siya ng ano class, ng mga psychologists, okay? Um, ginagamit siya, nagiging isang tool siya, okay, ng mga psychologist class, okay? Kung napapansin nyo, um, one direction lang siya class, it occurs when two or more lines are drawn within a corner. Kaya nga tinawag siyang repetition, okay? So, from that, we have the transitional lines, okay? So, more on sa... Uh, geometric shape na to class, ang transitional lines, okay? And then, take note class, uh, in painting, there should be an organic unity of lines to produce balance and symmetry, proportion of lengths and widths, uh, widths and rhythm, okay? So, uh, take note, every element of visual arts class plays a vital role in order for the artist to produce an, uh, a beautiful artwork class, Okay? So, nagiging uh, ingredient siya. Okay? Kumbaga, kapag nagluluto ko yun ng pinakbet, kapag wala kang, um, uh, pag nakulangan ng isa class, hindi na siya colorful. Okay? Hindi na siya, parang hindi na makukompleto yung pinakbet na sinasabi nila. Same, true with the uh, elements of visual arts class. Okay? 
So, these are the, the application of line when it comes to paintings. Alam kong uh, very common na sa inyo itong mga pinapakita ko. Okay? So, from the um, right side of it, ito, uh, andito yung uh, kompletong uh, application of lines when it comes to paintings. So, makikita nyo dyan yung curve lines, diagonal lines, you have also the... Um, uh, the vertical lines and so on. Okay, try to uh, to pause the video and then i-analyze yeah, nyo mabuti kung nandiyan lahat ng application of uh, the, the different types of lines in paintings. Okay? So, how about in architecture? Ayan. So, bihira lang kayo makakita dito ng ganyang kagandang architecture. So, uh, usually makikita nyo yan sa ibang bansa. Okay, punta kayo sa Sydney, Australia. New York, yung mga yan. Usually, dyan yung makikita yung mga bongacious uh, application of lines when it comes to architecture. Okay? So, we have also when it comes to art sculpture. Yan. Kung uh, meron kayo sa bahay nyo yan, e eh, i-feature nyo na siya sa KMJS. Okay? So, um, we have also, okay, aside from line, we have also color, one of the elements of visual art. So, ang color class, this is the most aesthetic appeal of all the elements of visual arts. Kasi class, um, ang color, nagiging way siya ng, um, to highlight, okay, the, the main point of an art, okay? And then also, um, it is a universal human characteristic. So, it gives, okay, a universal human characteristic class. So, nagiging, ang color nagsisilbi siyang transparent ng isang uh, characteristic ng isang tao or isang individual. Ang color din class, it, is, uh, it has a property of light. And then, um, also, okay, um, na-feature din ang ating sun dito that contains all the colors of the spectrum. We have the violet, indigo, Blue, green, yellow, orange, and red. Okay? Kung uh, very familiar naman na sa ating yung class. Okay? Yung sa rainbow note natin. Uh, yes. Okay? So, this is the application of colors when it comes to paintings. Okay? So, very visual nga siya. Okay? So, we have in sculpture. Okay? Yan. So, in architecture naman class, we have um, the application of colors when it comes to architecture dito sa, sa, sa Pilipinas. Kung nakapunta na kayo sa Baguio, doon, makikita nyo siya. That is uh, an application of colors when it comes to architecture. Okay? So, we have three dimensions of colors. We have the, um, the U or the who na sinasabi nila. And then we have also the intensity and the value. So, what are the uh, differences of the three dimensions of colors, okay? So, the first one is the who or the you. It is a dimension of color that gives it names, okay? So, uh, yan siya yung nagbibigay ng particular name of a color class, okay? Like for example, we have the red, blue, green, violet, yellow, okay? So, that is an indication of a who or the you color class, okay? So, we have uh, two types. We have the primary who's and the secondary who's, okay? So, when we say primary who's, these are the blue, red, and yellow, okay? And we have the secondary who's, orange, green, and violet. Kung napapasin nyo, saan nga ba nang galing ang mga secondary who's class? If you ever to, to mix the, pri the primary who's class, like the blue, Blue, red, and yellow. Ang magiging product niya class is the secondary hose. Okay, nakuha mo, nag-gets po natin. Okay, the foundation of secondary hose class is the primary hose. Okay, so ngayon, paano ba tayo nagkakaroon ng tertiary colors or the tertiary hose? Okay, kapag pinag-mix po natin ang kulay na meron sa primary hose and secondary hose, the product of that is the tertiary hose. Okay, nakuha po natin. Okay, so move na tayo. So, Usually, class, makikita nyo naman siya sa ating color wheel. Okay? So, this is the application of primary hues. Yan. We have the blue, red, and yellow uh, here. Okay? Si Superwoman. Okay? So, the secondary hues naman, class, kung napapansin nyo. Okay? And the tertiary hues nandiyan na lahat. The combination of the primary and the secondary colors or the hues. Okay? So, aside from that, um, we have warm hose and cool hose din class, okay? 
So, kung napapansin nyo, from the warm hose, it includes red, orange, and yellow. So, they are associated with objects like the sun, fire, and other sources of heat. Kung nakikita nyo naman dyan, plus very obvious naman siya. Okay? So, warm hose plus is they tend to impart warm to any composition in which they are used. And then they also, uh, they are conspicuous, cheerful, stipulating, vivacious, joyous, and exciting. Okay? So, that's why um, um, very similar siya with the characteristics of the sandwich class. Okay? And they are suggestive of uh, insti instinctive action. And they are called advancing colors because they have an effect of advancing or coming towards you. So, mostly, itong mga warm hose class, um, sila yung nagbibigay highlight or mostly, ito yung mga colors na nakakapag-catch siya ng attention agad-agad. Okay? So, this is the application of warm hose in arts. Yan. So, malay nyo, nakikita nyo siya sa, sa, sa bahay nyo. Okay? And then, we have also in cool hose din class. These are the colors that uh, includes green, blue, green, blue, and blue, violet. And they cause surfaces, uh, surfaces covered with them to appear to recede. And they also suggest distance. And they are also uh, um, suggest calm, sober, restful, and inconspicuous. Okay. So, this is the application of cool hose in arts. Okay? So, very calm talaga siya. Okay? The notes, P.S. Yan, mga yan. So, we, had, uh, we have different meanings of the respective colors in class. Okay? So, we have also uh, the red color. Okay? So, it denotes... Um, um, yes, also the, mean, uh, the meaning of this one is... Uh, I mean to say the color of fire and black. Okay, so usually, yan naman yung una nating um, pag magbibigay tayo ng definition ng red or the symbol of a red class is fire. Ayan, blood. It talks about fire, blood, ganun. So, also, the red, this is the warmest, the most vigorous, and the most exciting of the colors. Okay, and also, it stands for passion and energy. Okay, so, uh, kung sana nandito kayo, uh, we have the so-called um, intramurals here. So, you have different uh, colors din na mga t-shirts nyo. Okay, like for example, if you are a criminology, the color of your t-shirts is red. So, that the, the meaning of that is stands for passion and energy. Okay? And aside from that, we have the yellow. Okay? It is the color of light. Okay? The most brilliant, cheerful, and exultant of the colors. And also, it suggests cheerfulness magnificence, life, and splendor. So, see, kapag yun ang favorite color nyo, that is the meaning of yellow, the yellow color. And also, it serves to balance the warm colors like red and orange. Okay? So, aside from that, we have the green. Okay? The color of life. The symbolize, it symbolizes life, freshness. And if um, the green color is your favorite color, it symbolizes life. Freshness, yes, birth, kaya tinatabang natin, life, okay? That is also the color of vegetation, okay? And we have also the violeta, the violet color, okay? It represents shadows and mysteries. Other from that class, the violet color is, um, this is the color of the, um, the monarchy or the, it came from the wealthy family, na sinasabi nila, Violet, okay, the violet color, okay? So, it represents shadows and mysteries, okay? So, aside from that, we have the black, okay? It represents despair, death, and pain, okay, class? Uh, in your own perspective naman, class, um, uh, ang black, class, it may be uh, a positive or a negative. That is, um, if ever, na uh, that is from your subjective point of view, Okay? So, iba-iba kasi tayo, class. Okay? And then, we have also orange. Orange. It suggests deliciousness and warm. That's why the Jollibee, the Macdo, yung mga yan, class, is mostly the color of their architectural design, class, is orange. Kasi nakapag, um, ang tawag doon, araw siya ng, ano, ng, um, ng taste buds or the emotions of every individual. Okay? 
So that's why that is their color, okay? And then, uh, of course, my, fa my favorite color, blue. This is my favorite color class, okay? So uh, this is the color of the sky and of deep and still water, okay? And this is the, the coolest and the most tranquil of the colors. It arouses the feelings of peace and quietness, <laughs> okay? <laughs> so, pasensya kayo, ah, nadala lang ako sa emotions, okay? Dindin na may And I have a question. So, what is your favorite color? Okay, my favorite color is blue. What's yours? Okay, share mo naman yan. Okay, aside from that, we have also the value. Okay? Value. We have also the value. Okay. Hello, <laughs> say, 